On this video, we are going to operate basic egg dysfunction pertaining to vessel position and position source. Now, first thing we're going to do is to show how some of confidence or catsock information can be displayed in the ECDIS. By the way, we are using now a JRC ECDIS and to show the catsock on the monitor, let's go to upper left corner. You can see display all object on chart. You can press that in order for you to show the cat sock symbols. So the cat sock symbols are those. Symbols that you can see in the chart. Yeah. Next, other way to show the cat sock, you can go to custom. Then arrow down to chart display setting then click so view option will pop out you need to go to view one click then press next on the layers you can choose word accuracy then you need to click then the catsock will show on the screen. Next is to import or export data files. To do that, go to lower left button, press menu, then go to chart or user chart, then press file operation. File operation will pop out. You can see the file name that you can copy just click if you want to change the name but if not you can cancel then to export first click this so you can see the file is shown let us zoom it out so I will show you the file that is plotted on this ECDIS so these are the file if you want this file to be plotted also into another ECDIS you may press import then import file you can choose to which egg this you're going to export the file for example number four then choose a file which file you want to export or import then press ok the file name with same name already exists therefore the file is already on that X, X this so no need but if, if you want you press yes so that's how we export import file or data file next is let's show how to access the chart directory or to identify whether chart are ENC RNCS or private data again lower left go to menu Press menu, then arrow down, go to chart maintenance. So chart maintenance will pop out. So choose check status. And now you can see the chart maintenance that we are using the ENC. If you want to see those arcs, we don't have arcs chart. If you want to see C map, we don't also have a C map. So let's go to ENC. There you go. Next is to access the presentation library. Again, go to left, lower left, press menu, then press chart, then go to, you can choose graphically index or chart abbreviation. You can see the chart abbreviation here. All of the abbreviation that you can see also in the chart you can see it in chart abbreviation again go to menu then go to chart then go to graphic index those are the graphic index the next go to menu then next go to menu again then chart user chart user chart then 
go to menu again then go to chart press chart then you need to go arrow down you need to press like this chart one and all of the symbols you can see here if you want to see natural man-made features these are the features for man-made for example port features depth current seabed traffic routes special areas aid service etc etc so those are the symbols that you can see now to return it to back to main press display the own ship at the center of the screen there you go and then you can drag it again next is to demonstrate how to display the legend of the general information let's go to upper left press uh, beside the custom you can go to chart display then on the chart display you can go to chart display view one chart display view one press next then all of the layers are indicated here you need to take the information that you want to see on the ECTIS monitor for example this one if you don't want to see the accuracy just click accuracy so it will disappear you may also view number two then press next there's a lot of layers like for example dry line buoys lights boundaries so you only need to tick in order for you to see it or indicate on the ECTIS monitor. So that's it. How to operate basic ECTIS function pertaining to vessel position and position sources.